everyone this is veronica today we are going to talk about avian botulism so avian this words comes from aves which means birds so we use this terminology for the words so botulism is basically a disease which is caused by a bacteria so we'll discuss in detail about this avian botulism for my video updates and queries you can connect with me on instagram and facebook because i feel together we can make a difference so now let me tell you here about the study iq premium content you can become the member of our channel at rupees 159 per month only here you'll get to see some exclusive content by dr gaurav garg dairy current affairs monthly banking awareness monthly two 100 Current Affairs by Prashant Dhawan, Monthly Compilation of Most Important Geopolitics and IR Issues by Dr. Mahipal Singh Tathor, Monthly 5 Premium Videos. This content won't be available to other subscribers who are not the members of our channel. So recently we have launched Madhya Pradesh PSC Prelims 2019-20 Test Series also. Here you will find 10 tests and 1 demo test. You can purchase them at Rs. 1500 only. For additional information, you can log on to www.testiq.in. So now what is the relevance of this topic coming to this topic it will be covered in your mains paper 3 conservation environmental pollution and degradation at objective level you should know what is avian botulism subjective level conservation of migratory birds what are migratory birds you should have deep knowledge about them now context now what happened on november 10th some visitors at sambar lake what they found so this sambar lake this is very prelim uh, specific question it is india's largest inland salt lake so any mcq whether in upsc or any other exam state pcs so you should know india's largest inland salt water lake is sambar lake it is located about 80 kilometers southwest of Jaipur, which is in Rajasthan. So these visitors, what they spotted, a large number of dead birds there. So now firstly, we'll talk about the Sambar Lake. See, the Sambar Lake is India's largest inland saltwater body located in Rajasthan. This lake is surrounded on all sides by Aravali Hill. So this is again very important. It is a source of most of Rajasthan's salt production. So here I'll tell you something more about this lake. It is a Ramsar site. Okay, you should remember Sambar Lake is a Ramsar site which is recognized as wetland. So Ramsar sites, we have wetland of international importance because wetland is a key wintering area for tens of thousands of flamingos and other birds that migrate from northern asia so here you can see in rajasthan this is rajasthan in india's map and here you can find the sambar lake which is near jaipur ajmer right okay now going back to how it happened this death how they happened nearly 10 days i think it's now 20 days into the tragedy the government is was yet to determine the cause of deaths because there are obviously the reports investigation has taken place which far points to avian botulism avian botulism is basically a paralytic frequently fatal disease which is caused by ingestion of a toxin as a possible cause so after studying bird samples and on the basis of history, epidemiological observations and even the clinical symptoms and even the postmortem of the birds, there were foundings that it was diagnosed as avian botulism. The clinical signs exhibited by affected birds, so the clinical signs were dullness was seen in birds, then depression was one of the reasons. These are the symptoms on the affected birds anorexia then flaccid paralysis okay so paralysis of specially legs and wings and even their neck was touching the ground so the birds were unable to walk swim or take flight and there was no rise of body temperature no nasal discharge no respiratory distress or any other sign so this is what is known as avian botulism. This is a neuromuscular illness which is caused by botulinum. Botulinum is the name of natural toxin which is produced by a bacteria named Clostridium botulinum. So this is very again again which I am starring this is very important. Wherever I put star in my lectures now I will start this from today that means it is very very important so botulinum is the natural toxin which is produced by clostridium botulinum this bacteria also need anaerobic conditions anaerobic conditions here i'll write anaerobic conditions which means absence 
of oxygen right so and even these bacteria do not grow in acidic condition so this bacteria after it affects it affects the nervous system of birds leading to paralysis of their legs and wings the outbreaks of avian botulism tend to occur when average temperatures are above 21 degrees celsius or during the droughts now possibly there could be other reasons also like after a division bench of rajasthan high court took cognizance of the bird deaths the rajasthan government listed a four likely reasons firstly they said it could be a viral infection next they said toxicity as new area has been filled up after 20 years there could be higher concentration of salts along the edges one reason third reason they go have could be bacteriological infection fourth they said higher temperature and high water levels due to good monsoon might have led to an increase in intraspecies and interspecies competition for resources then what happened the species uh the individuals which are weak weaker individuals they are exhausted from the long journey because they have migrated from the northern asia perhaps were unable to compete and may have succumbed to stress emanating from the shortage of food susceptibility to disease pollutants toxins and other habitat related factors in the wintering grounds so in such an eventuality it is expected that with the fall of temperature and lowering of water levels the incidence of such mortality will go down but uh, these were the reasons which were initially given by the government but now uh, some reports they suggest it is caused by climate so one reason could be fluctuating water levels fluctuated throughout the year due to good monsoon this year the water level reached the lake bed after a gap of 20 years so this is where the climate plays a role then favorable environment for bacteria even this for the uh, botulism avian botulism the bacteria clostridium botulinum now you know that it might have got favorable environment provided by favorable environment for the bacteria to spread the bacteria as i told you needs absence of oxygen anaerobic condition and does not grow in acidic condition and then nutrient rich substrate the lake also provided a nutrient rich substrate like areas with large amounts of decaying plant or animal materials the monsoon brought with it a large population of crustaceans so here i'll write the name crustaceans so what are crustaceans animals like shrimps then your crabs are crustaceans the prawns are crustaceans in then many of the invertebrates also came like snails plankton like algae so what happened with these these are capable of hosting bacteria for a long period of times so now there are two theories one two theory is the bacteria is found in gills and digestive tract of fish which means it reproduces through spores and these spores remain dormant that means dormant means they are sleeping they are dormant for years they are resistant to temperature changes and drying but whenever they get favorable conditions these spores from dormant they get activate they become active after the monsoon when the water level receded there might have been an increase in salinity levels which could have led to death of these organisms at this point in time the spores could have been activated this is the one theory another is a bird to bird cycle that means it could have led to a tragedy tragedy like in such an event maggots when one bird dies there are maggots which feeds on the dead bodies of the birds feeding on dead birds can concentrate the toxin birds feeding on dead birds can get affected this was observed in sambar 2 as researchers found only insectivorous and omnivorous birds affected and not the herbivores the uh, birds which were herbivores that means they feed on the grass and the plants only they were not affected the birds which feed on the insect or they are both they feed on the insects also they eat the vegetarian food also known as omnivorous only such birds were affected so here what needs to be done see the government should pass legislation in the assembly to create a sambar lake development and conservation authority this could be the one and this authority should be handed a to z responsibility of sambar lake and then a fresh document should study why water from four rivers which flows into the lake has decreased over the years they should study the sedimentation hydrology increase and decrease in depth of the lake as well as 
birds animals and their food resources also then we'll be able to actually know what is the reason of such a mass death of the birds then establishment of rescue and medical centers along with the mitigation of climate change it needs to be considered by the government as a precautionary measures because prevention is always better than cure so we'll, if we will take some precautionary measure we should uh, we will be able to prevent such a tragedy in future now here uh, let me tell you little bit about the convention on the conservation of migratory species of the animals so in order to protect migratory species throughout their range this convention cms is there under the aegis of united nations environmental program and this is also referred to as a bonn convention it provides a global platform for the conservation and sustainable use of migratory animals and their habitats so talking about what are migratory species after all so these species are those animals that move from one habitat to another during different times of the year due to various factors these factors could be your food it could be your sunlight it could be the temperature climate so the movement between habitats of these birds can sometimes exceed thousands of miles kilometers for some migratory birds and mammals and the migratory route can involve nesting and also requires the availability of habitats before and after each migration that is why such conventions are important that different countries should take care of these migratory birds so this is all about today's lecture thank you